everybody. Uh, I'd like to uh, do a little informative presentation on someone named Gary Vaynerchuk. Uh, who here has ever heard of Gary Vaynerchuk? Raise your hand. All right. Well, a big part of the reason for that is because he's not somebody who's done. He's not somebody who in the past has accomplished great things. He's somebody that right now is changing the way we market. He's changing social media. He's changing the way business interacts. And he's bleeding edge. He's changing things right now. And so that's why if you haven't heard of him, get on the wave before it kind of crashes over us, okay? Because he's changing life as we know it. And one of the biggest things that he's doing is he's changed the way that we market and run our businesses. You know, how many people here have ever wanted to start their own little business someday? Okay? I mean, a lot of people thought about it. It's never been a better time to do that than now. That's the opening line in his brand new book, which, by the way, is called Crush It. And that's how I discovered him, because he's on the New York Times bestseller list right now. He's number two, actually. And uh, the whole concept is something called interactive media, where we don't just throw money at problems. If we're a business, if we're a little company, you know, all of us are consumers. All of us buy stuff. All of us have opinions on things. If someone wrongs us, we've never had a better uh, day and age to go out and get revenge, okay? If someone wrongs us, we can go on Twitter, and we have 500 followers. All 500 of those people may know that we were treated unfairly. Our Twitter account may be, may be linked to YouTube. It may be linked to Facebook, okay? All of a sudden, the individual person has enough power to dynamically actually hurt even a large, huge business. So it's never been more important, especially for those of us who want to start a business, to care about each and every individual person. Now, just a little bit of biographical information. Uh, Gary Vaynerchuk uh, was born actually in the former Soviet Union, back of course when it was the Soviet Union. He was born in uh, Belarus, which is now uh, Belarus, I'm sorry, Belarus, uh, my pronunciation, my Russian's a little off today, uh, in 1975, all right? Which is kind of cool because uh, I was born in 79, and he likes to use a lot of analogies, he likes to use a lot of fun examples. He was into He-Man, he was into you know, some of the 80s basketball players like Patrick Ewing, Michael Jordan, Magic Johnson. So when he talks about them, for me particularly, I can really relate and I really enjoy that. Um, he graduated from uh, Mount Ida College, but I'll be honest with you, he's, he's the kind of guy, he's got so much passion about what he does, I don't necessarily know that he needed college per se. I think that if you have enough passion, if you're able to educate yourself, things like education, you know, you'll get it yourself. Um, he may have found something really great at that particular college, kind of like we're finding here. Um, now, what I want to talk about is uh, extra, extra, read all about it. Print is dead. Print is in trouble. Print's toast. Okay? Media's, uh, print media in general is toast. TV's toast. Okay? The internet's the future. Twitter's the future. Uh, Rupert Murdoch, he's canceling all of the uh, Google uh, searches to his site. He's having himself banned from Google. He's focusing completely on Twitter and Facebook. He's realized that social marketing for the Fox Net Network and all the conglomerates that he owns is the future. He doesn't care about Google. He doesn't want to empower them any more than they already are. They're focused on these new dynamic principles. So people are acting on this information now. Understand is the way we communicate today is so different. Yeah. And the platforms have been redefined. You know, I was a wine shop owner in New Jersey, had a passion about wine, took a camera, started putting it out there, and just put it out there and just hustled, worked every day, answered every email. And so which initially were wine questions, questions about wine. Absolutely. First two years, I didn't really play my business card until like late 07 about how I did it. Everybody yeah. just thought I was crazy and ate dirt with Conan O'Brien and that's how it happened. <laughs> but at the end of the day, what I realized when I saw in late 05 was that the world completely changed. Marketing has changed, business has changed, personal brand has changed. It's a two-way conversation now, Allie. You know, it's not just we dictate. People want to interact and uh, I interact a lot. Okay. You're on the leading edge of that. You're on the leading edge to... And, you know, we do want to interact with our media now. He was one of the first, he's not the only one, but he's one of the first people to really discover it and implement a game plan. And uh, 
Traditional media, like we talked about, are dead, but some things are very much alive. Podcasts, all of you with iPods, or even without iPods. You know, uh, Apple has a free download for iTunes. Uh, you know, Twitter, Facebook, how much of our information do we get from the internet? Uh, the future's here and it's interactive. And, you know, now, the, the bigger the world gets, the more like it's, it's like a small town. Okay, back in the day, uh, in a small town, if you were a girl, and you were promiscuous, and you went out with different people and, and, and give yourself a bad reputation, the whole small town knew about it. The only difference now is the whole small town, that's the world, okay? The world's interconnected. The bigger we get, the more like a small community we are. Therefore, the more we have to fight for our reputations and uh, try our best to uh, you know, address problems when they're, uh, uh, when they're brought up. Businesses can no longer just throw money at problems. And that's the conclusion.